Hello, I made a video before about affiliate programs of Builderall and System.io, comparing the two, but it was over a year ago. Now things have changed. So, uh, of course, uh, the result, and if you don't want to watch all the videos, the result is that now System.io is a good product to sell as an affiliate marketer. And Builderall has gone worse and worse compared to my uh, previous videos. So now, uh, System.io, you earn an affiliate commission of 60% on the price before taxes. Okay, 60% it's a recurring commission every month or every year if you have sold the yearly plan. And it's for a lifetime. So as long as the customer pays for his System.io account, you get the commission. 60% of the price he pays before taxes. Which means, you know, in Europe or some other countries, you have VAT. Those are uh, paid to government. They are not paid to the company. Uh, in, I mean, the company just collect the tax and give it back to the government. So in France, for instance, it's 20% VAT. And in some countries, you don't have the VAT if you buy something from a foreign country. So anyway, in Builderall, it's different. You earn 27%. In fact, it's, it's advertised as 30%. But you have a 10% fees, a fee. So in, in effect, for 30%, you, you earn 27%. And then, of course, once you ask for the payment, you have the fees of the money processor. But this is the same for System.io. For instance, if you get paid on PayPal, you will get a transaction fee from PayPal. And on Builderall, it's another system. They pay with a, another payment processor. And you also have fees. But I don't count them because it's, this is normal. No, the 10% fee in Builderall has been added um, two years ago. It's a, it's a really arbitrary 10% uh, of your commission that you earn goes back to Builderall just to process your affiliate commission. So this is nonsense, okay? So 27%. But it's lifetime also. But if you don't make a new sales, a new sell uh, for a new customer every 90 days, then you become like an inactive affiliate. So what they do is they, they steal half of your commissions. So in effect, if you sell to a customer today, then in four months, you will not earn 27%, but only 13% and a half, 13%. So this is very low. And it's just a, they are stealing from affiliates who cannot continually sell new accounts to new customers. So every three months, you should have a new sale every three months. Otherwise, your affiliate rate is 13.5% compared to the 60% lifetime, no condition. You know? So here already you can see this is very bad for Builderall. And then, but a good thing if you want is that you have also a second level, 27% also. That, 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 that's good in theory, but in practice, it's not so good because it means that uh, the customer you have, if they choose to be an affiliate, then when they sell, you get also 27% on their customer. But this is the same. If you yourself, you don't sell one new customer uh, every three months, then you also don't get 27%, but 13 12. Because in fact, those rules, you know, the rules of uh, no new sale for 90 days, it's a they steal 50% of your commission. They don't pay you 50% of all your commission. That doesn't matter if they come from, from the first level or the second level. And in System.io, you have no second level. So it's all about your own performance. And, you know, I have to say something about this second level. In theory, it's a good idea for the company. I always thought like this. And because it allows the company to have its affiliate program being promoted also by affiliates. But it plays on the lotter, the lotto, lottery mentality, which means that some affiliates seek affiliates and ask them to, to work also under them. So they will provide training support for those affiliates under them so that when they sell, so they build a, a team and when they sell, the affiliate, the boss, the team leader will get commissions on their sales also. But um, this is good for those reasons but in reality in practice if you are an affiliate marketer and you like to play alone yeah, have your own performance then it's better to rely on your performance and what you do no need for a team of uh, slackers 
who will do nothing because in reality it's like the lotto you play you lose it's the same the people you will en en uh, make enter into your team they will do nothing compared to what you could do if you take this time to uh, sell yourself that's the reality of course you have exception like uh, if you play the lottery sometimes you can win the jackpot it, it can happen but does it happen really no it's a uh, it's a luck, it, but it plays on this lotto mentality. So this second level, it would have been better to put it in the first level and be done with it. And we will have a 50%. It would be nice on the build roll, but also not with this new rule, which less than six months ago, they introduced the rule that there will still 50% of your commissions if you don't make new sales every 90 days. Of course, if you do uh, two sales every 90 days, you don't get any bonus. No, they play on punishing you if you don't you can't sell a good roll. This is bad. And then there is a new rules now. It's a uh, uh, two months ago or one month ago. Now you will be charged a fifteen dollars uh, uh, fee if one of the customer uh, uh, make a chargeback. So you know he doesn't want to pay anymore. So you lose the commission anyway. But also because he made a chargeback uh, and builder doesn't want to to pay it, then you will have to pay it. They will take it from your commissions or half your commissions if they already stole fifty percent you will be made to pay $15. Yeah. And also they introduce a new rule. You cannot run ads on the brand Builderall. So they they can keep uh, their name for themselves. Or competitors, for instance, if I am not an affiliate of Builderall and I bid on Builderall on Google Ads, but to promote System.io, they can do nothing to me. But if I am an affiliate for Builderall, I want to promote Builderall and pay ads no, I can't anymore. It's uh, forbidden now. So of course those rules are not fair because they have the discretion. So they will cut your commission if they don't want you to run ads. But other affiliates who are more friendly to them, they will be allowed to run ads. Themselves, they will be allowed to run ads. And all the competitors who are not Builderall affiliates will be able to run ads on Builderall to promote other things. But you can't if you follow the rules. So you know, you know the stupidity? And System.io, there is no fee for chargeback because if there is a chargeback, they deal with it like all companies. Yeah, they, they pay the fees or whatever. It's part of the business. And uh, you can run ads on brand. And as you see on the top top 10 uh, affiliates of System.io, you have some people who don't do anything else than just run ads on the brand with other keywords. So this is uh, a load. But this running ads on the brand and having no fee for chargeback, it was the case for Builderall only one or two months ago. Um, being able to, to have a lifetime commission with no rule where they steal 50%. It was the case uh, less than one year ago. It was still the case. Uh, to be able to have a, a number 60% or 30% and have no fee, additional fee to, to, to reduce it, it was the case maybe one or two years ago. So all those have been added. So that's why I wanted to do an update video uh, to let you know that it's hard to support Builderall with all the things they add. Uh, bad for the, the affiliates i mean we are not uh, robots we are not uh, cult members uh, enough is enough at some point but i'm not talking about other things uh, but all is still uh, an interesting product in itself you have tools the things you, you can criticize the price of the plans uh, the features i i did it already criticized but it's not the point of this video um but all is still software useful software i'm talking about the affiliate program which is getting worse and worse that's it. I'm still waiting for good news uh, since the time uh, Builderall bought, uh, have been bought by new owners, uh, richer owners. What have they done positive for affiliates? Please let me know because I've seen nothing. So maybe uh, my eyesight is getting worse, but I don't see any good points for the, aff the affiliate program. What good has come from this? Please let me know in the comment. I really ask you if you can, if you have an ID. Uh, don't talk about other things. Talk about the affiliate program. What? improvement have been done for the affiliates huh? since uh, uh, six months or nearly one year soon that there are new owners what good have they brought to the, the affiliates okay thank you